Hey, good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, April the 22nd, and this is your daily word of encouragement. So last night we had our second night of uh, the break room, our discipleship Bible study at a church, and we're going through the, the 12th chapter of Romans, looking at it as kind of a, a blueprint for discipleship, or, you know, what now, you know, once we have truly placed our faith in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, what should life look like? And the second verse uh, told us to, uh, to no longer be conformed to the patterns of the world, but instead be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And that, and that as we would trust God for that process, then we would be able to test and know God's good, perfect, and pleasing will for us. And so we're, this, all this week we're focusing in on that, 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 uh, that process of the renewing of our mind and how um, us surrendering our mind, our thoughts, our, our ways of thinking about ourselves, about others, about the world around us, that, it, that we have to discard or no longer conform to that old way of thinking, that old way of perceiving ourselves in, in the world around us, and instead be transformed by the renewing of our mind, giving our minds over to uh, the full lordship of, of Christ. And so the, verse, uh, the first verse that I want to hit today is one that, um, that has been a favorite of mine for years, and it's, a, it's just a great kind of foundational verse to kind of draw me back when I, like I'm sure many of you, uh, our, our thoughts can, can run away from us. Um, can start running free, kind of uh, spinning things into the worst case scenario. Uh, you know, our minds are, our brains are really good storytellers. We hear a comment or we hear something, we perceive something, and immediately we spin it out of control, right? And um, our brains have a tendency either to take things to positive places or negative places, and sometimes there's room in between, but very often it can be one of those two extremes. And so this verse really helps keep me grounded, and it comes out of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. Uh, Paul writes there to the church in, in Corinth, he says, We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Now, the first part of the verse really needs to be understood within the context of the whole chapter. So we're going to focus... Um, really specifically on the second part of that of that verse, because I feel like that has the most general uh, applicability to uh, you know every situation that we might find in life. We take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ. Take captive every thought. And the way I like to think about that is is that we have these little thoughts that tend to run wild in our brain. It's kind of like this little preschooler that we can't seem to quite corral. Uh, you know, think about like you know a crazy. A crew that you might have a vacation Bible school where you know they're all supposed to be holding on to the rope. It seems like they're all kind of running different directions, and and that is often how um, troubling thoughts, anxious thoughts, can be in our brains. It feels like they are just running amok, and they are affecting every moment, every relationship, every conversation. It's like we can't see or experience anything without that thought uh, seem like holding complete authority and dominion over us. And so I love this idea of, you know, we're going to capture this thought. We're going to take this thought and we're going to, you know, when we take captive, you're going to, you're going to interrogate this thought. You know, you know, what are you doing to me? Why, why are you troubling me? So are, are you even true? Is there anything accurate about you? Are you just some, you know, bad, destructive thought that's gotten loose in my brain and it's just, you know, wreaking havoc wherever it goes? So I love this idea of taking captive that thought, but then the second part of that, making it obedient to Christ questioning that thought, that thing that's, that's running wild in our minds. Is it true? You know, is, is, there, is there any merit to it? Is there any value to it? Um, and what would Jesus have to say about it? Um, and we're thinking about, is this, is this thought leading me towards life or is it leading me towards death? Is it leading me towards becoming more like Jesus, honoring Jesus in some way, or is it leading me back to that old self once again? So, uh, I just pray that that would be this this verse that that uh, would be something that would just uh, again resonate with you as, as as it has with me over the years, and I pray that something you could meditate on today. That um, throughout this day, there are going to be many many thoughts that um, that pop into your mind. Some are thoughts that you've been dealing with for for quite some time now, but to take captive that thought um, and to make it obedient to Christ to determine is is there is is God's truth in that thought, or what would God's truth say about that thought. And then how can I see that through the lens of God's truth, not through my own simply personal experience uh, or conforming to the way that the world might think, but the renewing of my mind, surrendering that thought and making it obedient to Jesus. Let's pray. Uh, Lord Jesus, today, uh, as we go throughout our day, um, Lord, there's already thoughts and um, 
issues that we're already struggling with. There's things we're carrying with us, and certainly there's going to be more things we encounter today. And when we're plagued by a particular th troubling thought, it's very easy for everything to be seen through the lens of that thought. Um, so Lord, even before we begin our day today, I, I pray that those thoughts that have been troubling us, those things that have been concerning us, that we would make a commitment right here and right now to give those over to you, um, to, to, to capture that thought, see it through the lens of your truth, and then make it obedient to you. And then, Lord, as, as things come up throughout our day, I pray that, uh, Lord, we would have that same uh, peace and assurance and, and foundation of seeing everything through your truth and being able to discard and, and get rid of those thoughts that clearly um, are leading us away from you or uh, towards destructive thoughts. Um, and, Lord, and instead just holding on and embracing to your truth. Thank you, Lord, for this word. And we just pray all this in your name. Amen. God bless everyone.